when we look at a mirror, what do we see? We see a reflection of ourselves. And now, when we have screens, we look also at a reflection of society, their interests, needs, and biggest fears. Body representation has mattered since the beginning of times when primitive men and women represented uh, their hands inside of the caves. This body representation has changed in times. Here we can see uh, Venus, uh, Venus of Billendorf. And how, how can we perceive the body now? Now that we have a machine in front of us, how does the machine perceive our body? Now, we also have another challenge. How can we use these machines to improve ourselves and even our bodies? As a visual artist, dancer, and founder of a nonprofit organization, I have been obsessed on these questions. Now, what, what do we have as similarities when machine represents the body as well as humans? Do we make the same mistakes or assumptions? We see that here, uh, we all struggle with hands, right? As for humans, when you are preparing in an academic uh, knowledge as a, as a painter, as a drawer, as a sculptor, you can really see that the most difficult challenge is to represent hands. Why? Because they have so many structures, bones, and angles that they are really hard to represent. We can see that even great masters here like Cezanne just avoided representing hands in some way. Uh, as for diffusion models, we have the same. Look closely, there are five digits. What else? These models are only based on the patterns, on the visual patterns that are copied from the low res images. So this makes them inaccurate, imbalanced, uh, and somehow uh, not what we are expecting. So what else? We also need to ask what are we doing well when budding, uh, representing the machine. So let's take a look on this. This is a line of time of how the machine and how different diffusion models represented the body from April 2022 and now in March 2023. Pretty fast, right? The, the idea of this was representing full body, unnatural poses, and multiple figures. Besides, not only companies are making a great advancement on, on this, but also the internet community is constantly making enhancements and improvements for these models. So now, what's, what's in for 3D? What can we do with the body? Because we're talking about 2D, about uh, full anatomy. Well, in ballet, we learn something. That everyone has a different body type. One has more extension, more strength, even a better foot for point shoes, etc. So, for implementing this in an educational level, we need to address the particular kinetic needs of every discipline. Here, we have been working with ballet, contemporary dance, and other sports. How can we implement the needs of each discipline? For example, here in ballet, we can see that the head needs to spin before the body. So we need to see that in the quality of movement for representing it as machines. And hi, here we can see that in contemporary dance, there is a slower tempo and therefore a better caption. Also, we need to adapt this to the uh, mocap integration. And how can we make it also through mixed reality in order to make it more natural, more organic and less invasive? Here I'm going to share some tips on how can everyone implement it in a more natural and useful way. First of all, when smartwatches appeared, we remember that this improved, improved our performance in a very important way. But what if we implemented this full body? Like we could really spot that there is some misplacement on the body weight, or that we could do a simulation of our dance, our choreographies. Number two. With AI, the learning curve should shorten quite a bit. Why? 
because sometimes we do the same recurrent mistakes and we took ages to correct that. With AI, we could really enhance this. Number three, well, an educational complement for the human teacher. So you give this data to your teacher, you focus on goals, short-term and long-term goals, and this will be an integrated hybrid process. Number four, how will the performance industry will change? We will perceive dance differently. We know that dance and choreography has a very traditional way of looking at things. But what if we could make it hybrid? What if we could experience as a viewer different things in this kind of experiences? And number five, body consciousness by mirroring outside ourselves. We will see through the machine in a more objective way. So now, with all this, we can tell that we, our limits of our body will be in pushed away. We can push forward through these limits as human with the help of AGI. So now, I really recommend you to go for them. Don't hesitate on subscribing to your next dance class uh, aided by an AI. <laughs> and now, Let's dance as if nobody's watching. <laughs> Thank you.